Hi, I'm Kyle with Stern Pinball, and today we are going to go over how to adjust the upper right flipper on your Jaws pinball game. If you're unable to trap or lock the ball on your upper right flipper, it's likely that the flipper is out of adjustment and needs to be adjusted slightly. One quick check to see if the flipper bat is adjusted too far right is check the tip of the flipper in comparison to the dimple in the playfield. The flipper tip should be aligned or much closer to the dimple than it is in this position here. With the flipper adjusted in this position, it won't be able to rotate and reach its furthest extent of travel to actually trap the ball in this position. The fix is going to be to loosen the flipper crank on the flipper bat and reposition that flipper a little bit forward. To perform this service, we will need to remove the glass from the pinball game. Uh, we will need to open the coin door. We'll want to unlatch the lockdown bar from the cabinet using the two latches on either side of the coin door. Take the lockdown bar and set that aside. It's always a good idea to shut the coin door when you remove the glass so it doesn't come out and scratch on the edges. Once you get the glass out, make sure you put it down somewhere soft and gentle. Once the glass is removed, uh, we have the coin door open, which puts the interlock switch in its powered off state, which removes 48 volts from the play field, so it is safe to reach inside. Do we want to remove the pinballs? The quick and easiest way to do this is to locate the ball serve plunger, which is attached to the end of your ball trough where all the balls live. You can grab that plunger and push up on it, and it will kick one pinball out. We'll want to repeat that five more times until all six balls are out. And to perform the service, we're going to want to have the play field in service position. We will grab it here in the middle of the apron, pull up, grab the service rails, pull it forward until it stops, and lift it up and against the head. To adjust the flipper, all we need is a 5 32nd inch Allen wrench. I have a T-handle wrench here, or if you have an Allen key index like this, uh, your 5 32nd wrench will work fine. To make this adjustment, we need to loosen the flipper crank that tightens around the flipper bat shaft. We don't want to loosen it all the way. We're trying to maintain a little bit of friction. That makes it easier to get the flipper into adjustment. With the flipper crank loosened, it will allow the flipper bat shaft to rotate in place. This is what will allow us to adjust the position of the flipper bat. And what we're looking for is the flipper tip to meet up with the dimple that is in the play field. When we get the flipper bat adjusted in the correct position with the dimple on the play field, that will allow the flipper's furthest extent of travel to block the ball. Now that we've got it adjusted, we'll want to tighten this cap head screw down. This piece here with the spring attached to it is the end of stroke actuator. When you start to tighten this flipper cap screw on the flipper crank, the end of stroke actuator can start to move. It can bend up and kind of have a couple degrees of deflection here. We want to make sure that the end of stroke actuator here isn't too close to these flipper screws, that can cause some hangups. In this case, we'll keep the actuator held down towards the play field with one finger while we start to tighten this screw. We do need this to be tight. If this is too loose, the flipper back can start to drift. So do be careful. This does take a bit of force. Now that the flipper crank is tightened down on the flipper bat, we can lower the play field back down into playing position. And we can check our work. And now that we've got that back together, grab your harpoons and let's go.